Now, ever since the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission announced the date for the repeat polls, following the announcement of, the pres of President Uhuru's win, the opposition coalition NASA has held a series of demos to push for electoral reforms. Let's take a look. The lead up to the official announcement of President Uhuru Kenyatta as the winner in the August 8th general elections saw pockets of violence erupt in the National Super Alliance strongholds of Nyanza. NASA supporters in parts of Nyanza took to the streets to protest the results, terming them inaccurate. And as is the norm, anti-riot police were called in to quell the chaos. Unfortunately, several people lost their lives, including six-month-old baby Samantha Pendo, who was allegedly clobbered by the law enforcement agents at their Nyalenda home in Kisumu. In Nairobi, eight-year-old... Do not know whether really uh, our police are injuring or have injured any citizen because that is, would go out of uh, their code of conduct. But criminals uh, who under the law, either approach police officers, uh, you know, armed or threaten the individual lives of the police officers, force is applied only to a measure that is allowed by the law and the police know that. Carl Mudaweva returned during the filing and hearing of the presidential election petition. However, after the nullification of the presidential election, NASA insisted on major reforms at the electoral body. The irreducible minimums as referred to by NASA would however not be met, prompting NASA to call for nationwide protests against IEBC. Sisi Siwajinga, Sasa, Weyo Tereshina Tano, Senia Tano, Musikizi Kamakini Sana, Mutatao Yume Kwenu. According to Amnesty International and Human Rights Watch, at least 33 people were killed by police as they protested the outcome of the August 8th general election. In a report released last week, the two rights watchdogs accused police of using excessive force on pro-opposition demonstrators. And after a week's suspension, anti-IEBC protests are set to resume this week. NASA leader Raila Odinga has indicated that the demos will resume on Tuesday and Wednesday. The NASA coalition insists there will be no election on Thursday and the commission must pave way for meaningful reforms. Janet Chappie.